President Dr. Tony Tan, Minister of Ed Education, Mr. Heng Sui Ket, SUTD Board of Trustees Chairman, Mr. Philip Ong, MIT Provost, Professor Martin Schmidt, Zhejiang University Vice President, Professor Yin Yibin, graduates, family and friends, SUTD fa faculty, staff and students, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are gathered for the graduation of the first cohort of undergraduate students in the history of this university, a university that's distinct in so many ways. We also celebrate the graduation of 10 MIT SUTD dual degree master students. Needless to say, this is a moment of extraordinary significance and great poignancy. A moment that is filled with great joy and emotion for me and for many others assembled here today. Our students have completed a demanding academic program among the most rigorous in the world. They have experienced both personal and professional growth, including exposure to a diverse community of faculty, staff, and students. Graduates, you are different today than when you were three years and four months ago when you entered SUTD as undergraduates or two years ago as for the master's students. And we as educators and staff are different from having the pleasure of working with you. And I don't just mean more gray hair. Graduates, you have developed lifelong relationships with your fellow students and with the faculty and staff and have been here, who have been here to guide and support you and a deep association with SUTD. You have experienced and accomplished much. You have been the recipient of a rigorous education. Some of you might even refer to it as painstaking. But as parent pioneers, you've also had a direct impact on the curriculum and SUTD pedagogy, as well as the design of our campuses, in particular, the new one on which we stand. You have completed 20 or more design projects and have created a student government in a vibrant fifth row co-curricular program with numerous clubs and interest groups. You've climbed not only an academic mountain, but a physical one and named it for SUT, in honor of SUTD. You've created new technology and spin-off companies. Indeed, today, I can use the easy, an easy ring that you've created as far away as Boston to enter and pay for my rides on the subway. You have created a wonderfully engaging and entertaining open mic platform and received awards for musical performances and won several external design competitions. You have created clubs and excelled in sports, such as Frisbee and Taekwondo. You've designed the Chinatown Chinese New Year light up for each of the past four years. And you've had many moments of fun and joy. I recall the hilarity of hearing a cluck cluck in the classroom as I was teaching introductory calculus during one of the very first classes at SUTD. The chicken was there as part of a fun-filled bonding experience. Cluck, 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 cluck. I can assure you, in over four decades as an educator, this is the first time I ever had a chicken in my classroom. <laughs> Today's signature occasion is, I believe, a time to reflect a bit on the 10 years or so that have gone into the planning and development of SUTD and to look forward to the future. We have created a very special place with a unique organizational and degree structure, an innovative multidisciplinary culture and environment, a progressive approach to teaching, education, and research. This university is like no other, no other. Needless to say, 100 years from now, SUTD will be a very different place a place that I can hardly imagine. However, if we remain true to our mission and vision, I can clearly see several enduring aspects of SUTD in 2115 and beyond. As I've noted before in other forums, technology and design have been instrumental to humankind's well-being and prosperity forever. So much so that we speak of epics of the human experience 
in terms like the stone, bronze, iron, and information age, ages, and the Industrial Revolution and the Renaissance. Tomorrow, like today, in all past ages, our world will need technology-grounded leaders and innovators. The education of such students should be with us forever, as is the creation and dissemination of knowledge to serve societal needs. That, as embodied in SUTD's mission statement, is our institutional DNA, and should, in my view, be the enduring feature of this institution. We should continually be flexible and strive to be educational and research leaders. We should always be a place that values and celebrates ideas and innovation, be it for scholarship or practice. We should never forget any of this, any of this. Nor should we forget that university exists for more than just knowledge creation and dissemination. Education is also about skills and attitudes. The skills needed undoubtedly will change over time, and so might societal norms and attitudes. But a university education should always value the importance and embrace the triad of attitudes, skills, and knowledge. They are, to me, all essential to this university as I see it today and as I see it 100 years from now. We need to keep these enduring features always in our thoughts and sights. As reflected in the Bible, Matthews 18:18, 18, 18, truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Or from a Chinese proverb, with time and patience, the mulberry leaf becomes satin. With time and patience, the mulberry leaf becomes a silk gown. With the unimaginable advances we will make in science and technology in the years ahead, some of you graduating today might even be here to see the SUTD of 2115. I sure hope so. As you look back then to today, or look back 10 or 20 years from now, you should say to yourselves, I was there at the beginning. Take pride in being a trailblazer, a pioneer, and having had a significant imprint on the university's formative years. Say to yourself, I have played a role in creating a great university that contributes so essentially to society's well-being. That, my young friends, is quite a legacy. SUTD and the Singapore government have made a significant investment in you and you and your families assembled here today have made a significant investment in SUTD. We at SUTD are committed to continue to support you. I am delighted in this context to announce today a new initiative that is both a substantive and symbolic investment in your future. And is one way that SUTD can support Singapore's innovative skills future framework, an initiative we call LIFE, L-I-F-E, for a lifelong initiative for education. For all, all students currently enrolled in SUTD, we are providing upon graduation a $500 account to be used to match the government's grant of $500 to enroll in, enroll in future and continue education courses or modules at SUTD. This is the certificate. You'll each be getting one of these, but yours will be a little smaller. <laughs> we hope that through this initiative, we can not only support your continued professional development, but also firmly retain you as a member of the SUTD family. I might be expected on this occasion to offer a bit of advice, and it's quite simple. Through the SUTD broad yet deep curriculum, and the outside-in curriculum design, you have been educated to do almost anything. Working basically in all contextual domains, products, information, systems, or services. I urge you to find something that is meaningful and that you enjoy, be it in graduate school, research, working for a large, small, or even startup company, or contributing through government or social service. I found my place in the world as a university educator and administrator and have enjoyed every moment. I feel privileged to have played a role in knowledge creation 
in the education of exciting young people. This is my professional passion, and it gives me a wonderful sense of joy and satisfaction. Find your, your own way, something that gives you a sense of enjoyment, fulfillment, and passion. And use the fact that you've been educated as technically grounded leaders and innovators equipped to improve the world, to fuel economic and social prosperity. I ask you, as you graduate today, as well as throughout your life, to reflect STTD's mission to nurture technically grounded leaders and innovators to serve societal needs. We have provided you with foundations in STEM, Haas, your specializations in pillars and tracks, as well as Big D Design. Through our innovative, active learning approach to teaching and your many projects and design experiences, as well as your efforts in the fifth row, you have learned to define problems holistically and have developed creative solutions from a total design perspective. You have learned that technology and design touch every aspect of human behavior and that design includes the full value chain from conception through development, prototyping, manufacturing, operations, maintenance, and sustainability. You have had many opportunities to communicate and defend your designs, and in doing so, have developed competencies in teamwork and communications. We have also, I hope, provided foundations for responsible and informed citizenship, and fueled and sparked your imagination and touched your hearts. Use these learnings, these skills, and these attitudes wisely to steer your future endeavors. In short, be responsible and thoughtful, technically grounded leaders and innovators. Go out there and create a better world by design. I'd like to con conclude with some heartfelt appreciations. By definition, a salute is an expression of goodwill, respect, and honor. Goodwill, respect, and honor. Our pioneering students and their families and friends, as well as the SUTD faculty and staff, are well deserving of such an accolade for the risk they've taken and the confidence they've shown in joining SUTD. So please, faculty and staff, faculty and staff, please rise for a moment, face the audience, and if you will, on my count of three, please give a salute to all of our students and fa their families. One, two, three. Thank you. Now, students, I'm a little reluctant to try this. Would you please rise, graduating students, and on my count of three, offer a salute of gratitude to our faculty and staff. One, two, three. And if I may, salute and offer my thanks to you all. Here's to the technically grounded leaders and innovators who graduate and we celebrate today. I very much hope, very much hope, that SUTD has touched your minds, your souls, and your hearts. You've touched mine. Thank you very much.